Hey everyone, I'm Garfield the Lightning, and this is Pokemon Infinity. There's uh, probably not many of you out there will know much about this game, so I'll try and explain the best I can what's what's going on as I do it. And uh, immediately it has closed because I haven't pressed a button in a while, but uh, don't worry, don't worry, I'll get it back up again. But uh, yeah, here we go. So this is a fan game made in Pokemon Essentials, which is uh, which is basically like a version. Oh, uh, it's 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 like a I don't know what you call it, like a code base that you use for um for RPG Maker XP. But uh, yeah, I'll just get things started and explain things as we go. All right, three, two, one, go. So yeah, at the start of the game, you're basically not given a lot of information. You are dropped into the middle of nowhere. I am picking the boy. Take that, everyone. No girl sprite for you today. But yeah, I came across this game. Uh, I wasn't really looking for a speed run. I was just kind of looking for a fun thing to do. And, uh, well, I guess I kind of had one eye on, you know, maybe I'll speedrun it. And I was like, ah, oh, this game hasn't been updated in, like, a year. It's probably finished. Of course, later on, they uh, <laughs> they updated to version 3.0 in March. But, yeah, this was released back in December 2021. And it, 3. version 3.0 was released in, up th in on the 30th of March this year. And one of the big things that the newest version did for the run is that they added this little thing up here, the PC. And uh, you can change various things about the game from here. So I'm going to I'm going to put a little fun setting on that I wouldn't normally do in a speedrun. I'm going to put rainbow mode on. This is kind of like the, your Pokemon Stadium kind of not white shinies, where you can they can like change the color of various. They can change the color of various Pokemon. It's about a one 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 percent chance to to happen. So we'll see if we can see any funky colored Pokemon out there. And I also did a starter password there, let's go. You can probably, you might be able to guess what starters will get the option of if I put the let's go password in. If you don't put the password in, you get the, you get regional versions of Bulbasaur, Salamander and Squirtle. But you can put various different passwords in to get you get the choice of, of quite a lot of different ones. But I am going to save before picking the starter because I have very lax stat requirements, but I do have them nonetheless. And it is Pikachu. The other two are Eevee and Poliwag. I, um, it's just, uh, I mean, I'm not sure why Poliwag is there, but you know, there's only two Let's Go games, so I guess I have to put another one in there somewhere. Let me have a look at these stats. Just want to see if... Okay, Hasty Nature. That sense looks pretty good, I think. Yeah. Let's make sure I have that all down. It's, it's, you can have, like, you have, like, letter grades to kind of tell you roughly, like, what your IVs are. You, you can narrow them down pretty, pretty easily with that. I'm going to immediately go back home and sleep for 87 hours. This will let me take the time to manipulate things to my advantage a bit. I want it to be Friday night because that's when a traveling merchant appears in an area coming up. When are we getting Let's Go Poliwag? Good question. This is our rival Teal. We'll be facing against her a few times throughout our adventure. And yeah, so I'm going to to go on my way here. No encounters, that's good. I'm going to take Pikachu for a spin. Let's go with the password I used to have Pikachu as one of my starter options. Now, I'm not nicknaming Pikachu, and I would nickname it in an actual run. There's a good reason I'm not nicknaming it for the marathon run, though.
Okay, so I'm going to change my battle style, and then I'm going to use my repel here. I still want to avoid the grass, because you can get higher level encounters. And uh, yeah, just like this one. So even though I had the repel up, I still had this level 6 Rattata. I'm going to get this focus ban, because it's nice to sell. Like, if I hold up after that, I can just avoid that youngster, even though he is like running into me. He is a trainer. Yeah, that was maybe Miltank. They, there are some. There are quite a few fake one in this. Like maybe I forget how many there are in total. Over a hundred, I think. It's like Gen, Pokedex is Gen one to six, and a fair few fake one. And we will see quite a few fake one in this run. So the trampling merchant is right around here. And if I want to buy what I want to buy, I need to sell the Focus Band and the Great Balls. And then I can buy a Firestone. Plot Twist, I'm not evolving Pikachu with a Thunderstone. The reason I'm not nicknaming Pikachu is because I don't need to forget what this Pokemon's called. <laughs> But yeah, I will evolve it very shortly. Don't have to wait for much longer. Gotta talk to Donny here before you leave. See him a little bit here and there throughout the adventure. I did not mean to do that because I want to I want to go into the menu here so that I can use my Firestone to evolve Pikachu. And it becomes Gorachu. You might have heard of Gorachu. This was a beta design for the in, in the original Pokemon games. Uh, this front sprite, though, is made by Fox Thief, and you, you you might have seen this before. Uh, you might not. But yeah, it gets immediately gets um, under 100, 500, and I can teach it Home Claws as well, which is very helpful because X items are pretty scarce in this game. Now, this chin is gunning for me. I just gotta, yeah. I have to hope. I have to hope it goes. It goes left when I when I try and go up. It can just go up and block me completely, and then I just have an encounter I can't avoid. But uh, I mean, the game kind of paid me back there with the Ekans encounter. Yeah, originally Gorachu was like a Raichu, a potential Raichu evolution. But uh, in this game, it is a branched evolution for Pikachu. Now we get to see the regional starter that Teal took here. He took the regional Charmander. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm using Home Claws. This is a Fire Dragon type, so I don't have anything great against it. I just kind of have to muscle through with Thunder Punch. But no potions, and that's nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alex has has seen like previous version, the, the previous versions of this of this run, where you didn't have the starter passwords and you used like the regional Squirtle, and then later on you caught a Poochyena. But uh, oh, this is a this this is, this is a recoloration here. Yeah? Zapalope is a fake one. It's usually not this color. It's usually yellow. So that's uh, immediately you get to the rainbow mode pays off, and we get to see an alternate color variation there. The yeah, Agarchu is very strong at the start of the game. You know, like. It's uh, basically a slightly more offensive version of Raichu. It has base 112 attack, base 105 speed. But uh, it is a little bit frailer than Raichu if you. If, if that's. If somehow that's possible, I know, but. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, 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 uh, the most the important thing is it, le it's, it learns good moves. Learns good boosting moves as well. Home Claw, later on, bulk up as well. 
Uh, I let that camper see me just so that I could dodge that pooch, basically. Because if I if I go if I go get past it. And this is the regional Spiro, this is the dark fighting type. You do have like regional variants alongside their regular forms in this game, so you'll see regular Spiro as well in the game. As well as the regional Spiro. But yeah, here's where uh here's uh, Professor Thorn. We'll be seeing a lot of Professor Thorn throughout our adventure. Thorn's gonna try and help me figure out what what's been happening, like why I'm here, because I kind of just landed in in uh, in the forest, no idea where I came from. So he's gonna help me out. We're gonna take a little rest in the bed because I took a. Some damage. Which I think I did. I mean, honestly, I've been, I've been just trying to, you know, focus a bit on commentary. So, uh, but it's but it, but it's it, it's good it's good to heal there anyway, just uh, for a bit of safety for the next fight. I probably should save here and there. Just this game doesn't crash very often, but uh, it, it can do, and I don't really want to lose eight minutes of progress. I'm gonna thunder punch toastile. This is a range. I got it. Good stuff. This fact, I might hold an Ockerberry, so I can't one-shot it without a crit. Arbird is a Skarmory Prevo Pikmon. Steel normal type. And it can either have Sturdy or Keen Eye. I got a bit unlucky there, and it had Sturdy. But it can't do a whole lot to me. I'm not worried about that, at least. I have to go all the way down to the bottom there to avoid the avoid the backpacker. I'm gonna rest again. I didn't take much damage, but it's pretty fast to heal, and it's good to be healthy. So some abilities are random. It, it depends on how the Pokemon are set. Like some so for some trainers, Pokemon are just you know set as like the default. And the default has random abilities, and IVs in every stat. Uh, EVs are 1.5 times the Pokémon's level in every stat. But some of them are set abilities, set IVs. The EVs don't change in general. Uh, set move sets, you know. There are hidden abilities in this game too, and they can be random on trainers. We, uh, which it doesn't come up very often, but uh, it it has come up a little bit in, you know, in in, in runs in the past. And I'll, I'll 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 get to it when I get to it when when that when when that happens. But uh, grab the super pal and I'll just use it right away. Prevails in this game last 450 steps. So they're much, much, much more useful than regular appels. Right, so I'm gonna... Uh, if I had a better attack, I would home claws there. But I can't really guarantee the one shot there. I'm, I, it didn't use band attack, which is nice. Like, home claws is good for countering and attack there. But it didn't go for it, so I don't have to worry. 
Alright. And your super repels hidden around here. There is a cave coming up, so uh, the developers were nice enough to put various repels around this route in particular. They're also quite generous with rare candy. Some games are not very generous with rare candy, but this one is one has, has got quite a lot of them, which is very handy because I will be using a heck, a heck of a lot. Now this is like the one fight where you know Gorichi's weaknesses come into play a bit, because uh, the second one isn't Onyx, and I have nothing really for Onyx, but like, thankfully, um, the trainer leaves with Rog and Roller. I can home claws a lot, so that I can two-shot the Onyx. And I can go try for the Thunder Punch one-shot. It can either have Sturdy or Weak Armor. This time I had weak armor, so that's good. Yeah. All that setup was needed for this Onyx. It didn't go for a rock move, so, you know. I mean, you do you, I guess, Onyx. Yeah, Gorichu is strong when it, when it works, but there's just... There are some problem Pokémon for it. I'll scale black and white to scarlet and violet. Oh, geez, that's a <laughs> that's hmm. That's a, that's a wide spectrum. I'll have to think about that one. But uh, yeah, first, I'm going to try and get through this cave. I still have the super repels up. Super repel up, rather. And I'll grab a dusk ball here. I'm going to grab a useful TM, low sweep. Balls in this game, uh, just like just like just look at the the uh, the in-game time. Like in in a cave, it still looks at the in-game time, so I have to make sure it's nighttime for a dust ball to be effective in cave. Speaking of the time system, I haven't really talked about that, but uh, it kind of it it, it goes uh, every in-game every in-game minute is uh, every two sorry every, every two seconds that pass in real life you have um, an in-game minute passes. Right, let me potion up here because this guy has an onyx. Uh, good thing I was able to get the low sweep TM because that's very helpful because he only has an Onyx. So, yeah, I kind of need. <laughs> I kind of need low sweep for this fight. And I will save here. Good time to save. Just in case it crashes and in case this Onyx does something mean to me. It's about it's 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 about a fifty-one percent chance for me to do hit the onyx with a low sweep. Okay, that was a pretty bad roll. It's just going for curse, which is okay. It can't kill me with rock throw from with, with curse there. It's not even going for it. Okay, that's fine with me. That was that, that was fine. Like, I didn't two-shot, but I didn't take big damage, so it's all good. I need to catch a flyer in here. There's Woobat here, and I will catch it if I can come across it. There we go. No world encounter is very helpful for getting these guaranteed, guaranteed ways of, you know, using fly or whatever else I might need to come on for. Oh, that actually did not get in. That's unfortunate, but I have another one. Uh, 
I wasn't. I didn't. Uh, I think that might be the first time we've actually broken out of a dust wall. So that's a bit unlucky because I would have liked the other dust wall for other things later on. But we'll just have to do without it. I suppose. Right, I'm gonna just be a bit careful for this guy. You can at least run past every trainer here. So like, if you're patient enough, you you should be able to dodge any spinner. So, at the moment, I'm, I've come here to get some Arcanium Ore to fix Thorn's machine. Well, or like, upgrade Thorn's machine or whatever. I don't think it's broken, he just needs to like, he just needs more information and he needs to upgrade his system. Do I have a backup dusk stone anywhere? Be nice for me to have one. Uh, right, so gonna buy some energy roots. Just gonna buy Max. Now I said no to replying Super Repel because it's actually faster to go into the register menu and just use it from there. Then you don't have to like go all the way back into the menu and all, and and um and use it from the menu. So I have to fight this guy. I'm gonna to talk to him first because he like talk, he he has like he's talking about the festival and he's saying he's having a good time here. He's gonna get back to the festival and before before all that, I'm going to uh, use my potion to heal up a little bit. I'm gonna equip that charcoal and we'll save the game in case something goes wrong. Geralt has a bit of a hodgepodge of a team because he's just like caught a few Pokemon to while while he was traveling here, just uh, make some new friends, you know. So I'm gonna boost up a bit on Shinx. His big Pokemon is a level twenty Fero. I am very fast, so I do outspeed the Fero, which is nice. So it, it doesn't have a chance to kill me with Fury Attack. Not all Gorachu outspeed the Fero. So yeah, very straightforward fight with Gorachu this one. Root without the data passwords in before version 3 used uh, Mighty Yenna here and you had to like boost up a lot with Howl and didn't have anything super effective for Fero. Alright, so uh, now that I beat Geralt I can use Fly and I don't even have to teach it to my Pokemon. As long as my Pokemon are capable of learning the move, I can just use it. Thorn's given me an experience router, which is basically just, you know, the exper the modern experience share, which I which I can thankfully turn off. Because I don't really need levels on my other Pokemon. So now he's, he's he needs some time to work on this machine, so he's basically saying, while 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 you're waiting, just go to Amberfield Town and all the Safari Ward and I don't want to be there for the for the for the opening. Alright, so now I'm gonna manipulate the time again by sweeping for 98 hours this time. It'll change it to Tuesday during the day. When I, when I, uh, when, uh, which is going to be important because day also influences weather, and weather can influence Pokemon spawn. Pokemon spawn. So, uh, 
uh, yeah, I'm going to save here. I don't think I need to do anything else. Oh, I do, actually. I need to turn off the experience router, so let me do that. No, not register. Thank you. There we are. So I get to fight Eel again here. I still can't do a whole lot to Charmeleon. But it can't do a whole lot to me at this stage either. So I'm gonna put up a few home claws. I'm at minus one, I'm gonna get a plus one. But yeah, it's just not using Ember on me, you know. I have to be a little careful if it has competitive. It can have either competitive or oh, what was the other one? Competitive is the only relevant one for for me. It does this one does have competitive, so it gets a little stronger, but uh, it's fine. I can I can two hit with low sleep. Nostril flares at nostril flares are priority special fire move in this game. Grab another rare candy. Hey, Nico. It's me. Look forward to you fan spotted. Yeah, bulk up here. That's. You know, home calls is nice and all, but bulk up. Can you just move? Thank you. The block up is super helpful for some fights where just boosting attack is a bit scary with, with Gorgi's frailty. So I'm gonna heal up here. Yeah, that'll probably be fine. I'll teach bulk up over home claws. Thanks for good luck, Barchan. save here too. Good to save periodically in case of random crashes. Yeah, this is a double battle, we've got Miltank and Tauros. Be likely to just target Wubat while I bulk up. I'm gonna hope Boris doesn't have Intimidate. Okay, it did, but that just means I have to bulk up an extra time, so I'm gonna bulk up and then just attack Miltank. Because Miltank is a bit bulkier than Tauros. So I'm going to keep bulking up, keep using Confusion. One more bulk up. And then I'm going to Fire Punch the Tauros. Because of... Um, because of... Um, Wubat be damaging. I'm gonna. Okay. I think I'm dead here, actually. So. Yeah, good thing I saved there. I probably should have gone for the Fire Punch because it can have thick fat, and I thought Thunder Punch might kill because I'd done a bit of damage with Wubat, but not quite. If I'd got a second confusion off with Wubat, I would have been fine. I got intimidated again, unlucky, but what can you do? I'm still going to damage Mil Miltank, even though it can bide. Okay, this time they just really went for Wubat, huh? Can you just bide now, Miltank? Alright, well, I'm going to energy reason in that case. I have the charcoal, so I punch does a little bit more damage. Uh, Bide is just 
being used at the worst time here. I'm gonna heal while while it's using bide, and then it'll unleash energy next turn, and I will hope it has. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I was, I was a bit worried when I saw storing energy. Like, wait a minute. Okay, it it, it did have thick fat, but it didn't. But it, it didn't. It yeah. It didn't. It didn't have thick fat, but I still didn't care. And the reason I didn't use low sleep there is because it, they are holding chopple berries, both of them, so they weaken the power of my super effective fighting move. So, and a punch or fire punch does a lot more damage to them. I feel like I should have mentioned that earlier, but I was uh, kind of <laughs> too into the battle. Okay. Uh... That trainer is kind of reactive to your movement, but he's kind of but he's kind of a bit lazy about it, you know. He turns to the left, but only after you've passed him, kind of. As long as you don't stop and you move past him like that, he won't see you. So we're going to see this mysterious individual here with some, with some more Team Fate grunts. I fought, fought one of them earlier, and I'm going to save here because this guy has uh, looked several different directions, and I don't really want to fight him if I can avoid it, and so that's all good. Get me a netball here. I can still get encounters in the grass if I'm unlucky. High level one. Perfect. Got a netball there because that will help me catch a Pokemon later on. grab Water Pulse here as well. I wonder what types of Pokemon I catch with an Netball will be. Why do I do that? I mean nice to note is that I'm just running into these hidden items to get them. I'm not pressing A or anything. Pretty nice that you can just like run around looking for hidden items without press it without stopping and pressing A on every file. Another fake one, Psycholite. Grass psychic type. Goes down pretty easily to a fire punch. Rare bone here for selling. Now, this red candy I could not grab before in Echo Rock Town while the festival was on because there were balloons blocking the way. The festival is over now. It ends when you enter Echo Rock from the south. Uh, I need to go into here again so that I can get the ability to use the hut and then I'll be able to move on with my life. That guy's just on a cycle, so if you just don't stop, you can avoid him. I actually need to do some menuing first. Let me... Uh, I think I'm at full HP, so I can just candy twice. How it's like the big reason why I would want to get bulk up. He's got very strong physically offensive Pokemon. 
He's kind of like the... His theme is that he has lots of Pokemon with sharp blades, because he's kind of... His name is Howlet, he's based on Wolverine, you know? So his first Pokemon is Zangoose, and uh, Bulk Up is extremely helpful here, otherwise I would just die to two Flashes. Uh, I'm actually just going to reset that immediately, because I just got Crush Core Defense drop, and... I don't need the defense up a little bit, that's just a horrible start to the fight. Yeah, previous version of this route actually used Simipore instead of Gorachu because you can like manipulate the weather, you can get it to rain uh, whenever you like just because you can set the time so that it rains uh, in-game. <laughs> this fight might go on forever, go, go on forever, Juanli, if I just uh, get... Okay, fine. Fine, I'll try it with the... I'll try another bulk up. Maybe use the revenge this time or something. Yeah, no. It's a bit of a lost cause if it immediately drops my defense like that. Like on this fight with Simapore, you have to. Like a, a Ganlon berry. Like how many of you know what a Ganlon berry does? You know, it's like. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a berry that activates when you're under 25% HP and boosts your defense. Like, when does that ever come up? Uh, for Simapore, it was actually better because it was because it had gluttony. I can't believe it used Crush Claw three times in a row. It has other moves. It, sometimes it goes for Slash, sometimes it goes for Revenge. It's just always going for Crush Claw and getting the defense drop, which is 50%, so not like completely out of the question, but still. You know what they say, uh, fourth time's the charm, right? That's, that's how the thing goes. Oh my lord. Yeah, that's uh, what we're at now is 5 50% in a row. That's like what, 1 in 64, I think? Is it? Or was it 1 in 32? I might be. I might be hooked. Come on, don't do it. Okay. I mean, it did a heck of a lot of damage, though, so I think I'm just going to heal that and hope it uses, you know, not Crush Core. Okay, that's that's better. Okay, it dropped my defense, but I should be fine now. I'm faster than Scyther. Which, I, which is pretty... Well, it's not like super unlikely, but like you're often not faster than this. So I don't have to worry about that doing damage to me. I'm still going to heal because I can't actually, like, I can't, unfortunately, I can't quite just sweep everything because Howlet's final Pokemon has a Focus Sash. Also, it's faster than me. It's it's Weavile. Yeah, thankfully it went for Ice Shard there, and another Ice Shard is not going to kill. I'm going to heal there, but it doesn't really matter because I got rid of the Focus Sash. So that's Howl it down after many, many Crush Claw defense drops. Now I can cut three. Now, if you played Fire Red Leaf Green, you'll know what these two represent. And yes, I am indeed teaching it right Gorachu Mega Kick. And I am teaching it over Fire Punch. I have not lost my mind. This is part of the plan. Please trust me. Now you can, I am actually going to heal here because you can get encounters on this route and I don't really want to die to Thork just outspeeding and KOing me. You 
<laughs> what do you mean? Do you trust me? Please believe. <laughs> yeah, so you can get some encounters here. Just throw those, so I'll be able to outspeed and run away from that. Alright, so now for the reason that I got the netball, I'm going to be catching this Magikarp. And the reason I set the time for Tuesday during the day is that that's when it rains. So, yeah, I can just chuck a netball at this. And now I have Magikarp, and the reason that I have Magikarp is for this next fight, and I will be using a rare candy to evolve Magikarp immediately. Because, um, weakness for Gorichu is ground types, this trainer has a Donphan and a Graveler, it's not a good time for Gorichu. Also I need a Surfer at some point, the Gyarados will fit the bill, fit the bill nicely. So, I'm going to teach Water Pulse, because it does not have a water move, and I have to rely on Gyarados' special attack for this one. Uh, and then I'm going to take the Charcoal off so I can sell it a bit later. I do want to lead Gorichu still, because I can get some experience off this fight, which will help out a bit. Yeah, hopefully just like immediately goes for a ground move so I can dodge it with the Arados. Okay, it just that's the worst thing it can do. Uh, it also crit me, so that's really bad, but uh that's fine. Th th that was a crit that was a crit through intimidate, so I can just heal up and it won't do a whole lot to me. Yes, I know. I, I fell straight down. You have to rub it in, goodness me. But yeah, this does mean that Don Van can hit Gyarados with Magnitude now. And add Sturdy as well, okay. This is another this this is like 50-50 to have either Sturdy or Rockhead. <laughs> but I almost died to that. Uh, I'm gonna heal again here and just hope that it knocks itself out in confusion while I while I heal up. Okay, good. I did use a password for Pikachu starter, that's right. So now I can. Oh, that's a nice crit on Dojo. That's a two hit without the crit. Amelian has Dragon Rage, so it can do, well, 40 damage, because that's all Dragon Rage ever does. So as long as I'm on top of that, it's no problem. Okay, that's. I just think. Okay, this is, I'm glad it didn't go for a Dragon Rage there, just so that I have a full amount of HP for Don Van. With decent special attack, I have a 99.6% chance to KO Don Van. Okay, I just confuse it with Water Pulse, that works too. Didn't even go for Magnitude, went for Slam instead. Alright, no problem. Graveler was a little scary there, but we got there. So now I'm in Amberfield Town, which is where Thorn wanted me to go, and and the rejection letter to the Warden. And he said, like, yeah, I knew Thorn wasn't coming, we already did the grand opening, but here's a free safari ticket anyway. I'm going to go into the safari zone, but first I'm going to fly back to Thorn's lab. Because I need to change the date before I go into the Safari Zone for what I want. So I'm going to sleep for... how much? Uh, 68 hours this time. Let's change it from... Tuesday daytime to Friday morning. I'm 
now he's been working on the machine, so I can get scanned again. Go across this, this, this very nice long corridor. Very lovely fog. Very comforting message telling me to come home. I like how even in this, you know, even in even in your dreams, you still have you the, you still have the rappel up. Get out of here! These ghosts appear after interacting with the phone, and they can get in your way a little bit. Come on, Gengar. No. I don't know what other kind of balls are available in when I shop next, because I do want, because uh, I. And I would like to get a replacement for. The percent on Wii which is why I didn't look into a backup for but I'll get something to help me out it just probably won't be as good as a, as a dusk ball I mean if not I have <laughs> regular pokeballs in my bag but I'm sure I can do better than that so Thorn's got a plan to get me home he thinks that I'm from an alternate universe, so he's going to harness the power of Alkia and Dialga with various sh shards that contain their power. So I need to try and track down the Kronos shard and the Koroth shard for Dialga and Palkia, respectively. So, first task is to and get the rock, the ability to use rock smash from the next Ego Elder. Ego is the name of the region. I don't think I ever mentioned that actually. I've gone 46 minutes in without mentioning it, but uh, there we go. All right, so I need to sell my rare boat and charcoal here. I can buy my another safari ticket, which I'll need later. Five max repels. Uh, quick ball, and I'll, I'll just buy an ultra ball instead of the dust ball, I suppose. That will work, probably. So. I can avoid the stolen battle by just running down to the bottom here. And... The reason I wanted to change the date was because Chansey only shows up on certain days during the morning. So, I want to KO this because this Chansey always holds the Lucky Egg. And whenever you KO a Pokemon with an item, they drop the item and you can just pick it up. So, like, in before 3 point, version 3.0, I had to use Thief to get this, this Lucky Egg, but I don't need to do that anymore. Uh, Wait, did it drop it? Am I... Yeah, okay, I, 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 I was, that must have happened like, while I was doing all that talking. I was like, and my heart skipped a beat. I was like, what the heck am I going to do with that lucky egg? But uh, no, it did drop it. I'm, I'm not... <laughs> I'm alright. I'm okay. And I got flame charge as well there. Useful when you don't have X items and you, but you still want to boost your stats. Right, so... Let's register and use that max repel and equip the lucky egg. I'm going to use a few rare candies. Heal the full, and then I'm going to teach Flame Charge. So that's the reason I didn't really need Fire Punch, because I, I wish I had more move slots, really. Like, more moves would be handy, but I, I only have four move slots, so I've got to make do with that. 
because this rival battle is kind of tricky. Um, I have to do a lot of setup, and I do need Mega Kick for this fight. I got pretty good attacks, so I'm just going to go with four bulk ups instead of five. You could reteach Home Claws for this fight if you really didn't want to deal with Mega Kick 75% accuracy, but. Nice to have your defense up so that you just don't take a lot of damage from Pokey Pound here. Um, maybe I should have healed there. I think I've got enough HP for Snorlax. But if I'm wrong, then that would be unfortunate. Okay, yeah, well, I guess we'll find out now, huh? It doesn't normally come out this early, but uh, I just KO'd it, so that's that's handy. That's not guaranteed by any means. Oh, right, because I wasn't intimidated by Staraptor first, so that was probably why I KO'd that, actually. Staraptor, is, like, the Pokemon can come out in a variable order in, in this one. But uh, yeah, it was safe. Charizard for last, it's now it's uh, Fire Dragon type and I missed Mega Kick, so that is a reset! Woo! Okay! <laughs> Mega Kick! Way! Yep, that's, that's what can happen. And if, uh, if, if, if you like get a revive and revive up, it doesn't actually help because Charizard is really fast and it outspeeds Gorachu and just takes you out. Yeah, let's just uh, hope that doesn't happen again. Okay, this time Cocky Pound has been using stronger punch moves, so I will heal this time. But I've used four bulk up, so that should be fine. Okay, you really got to get that passing shot off, did you? With your bullet punch. We'll see if Staraptor or Stonelax comes out first this time. It always comes out second because it has bulldoze. Yeah, this time it is Staraptor, so it will intimidate me. So I don't want to mega kick that. Okay, this time I hit mega kick. Good stuff. There's really, you know, I, d I just don't have a dragon move that isn't mega kick for. The chip for, for the fire dragon type Charizard. up a little bit. So we're kind of a bit more back to normal now. I'm like way over way out leveling stuff, which is nice. Egg already coming in clutch here. Here's another regional variant. We've got Ego Chansey here. Instead of instead of 250 HP, it has base 250 attack. That's fun, right? Uh, thankfully, I can just take it out without worrying about it hitting me. Okay, that's nice. Are you going to heal? Nope. Good stuff.
to be my <laughs> I'll do another phase just because I really don't want the game to crash and me having to fight heal again. If I go up early here, it means that this guy doesn't he kind of reacts to your movement a bit, and if you go if you if you go up and then go left, he doesn't he doesn't turn to hit you, which is nice. It's one of those slow trainers that kind of know where you're there but can't really be bothered to react super fast. Skullipede will get nicely to level 40, which will help me repel through the next area. I didn't need to use, like, I, I, for battle purposes, I could have got away with using one fewer rare candy before teal, but getting level 40 is nice because it helps me avoid more encounters coming up. Be careful when you go into Hayesport suburb because that, tra that, that 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 woman running up and down is a trainer. Just gotta get out of her way. And I gotta play hide and seek to move on. So run throughout the suburbs and find some children. There are more optional hide-and-seeks, and, seeks and uh, they get a little crazy later on. They like can hide in more places. They uh, they can hide. They get, eventually they can hide as objects, and you just got to be like, hmm, <laughs> this thing wasn't there before. But this is, this is the only required hide and seek. So I can just move on now. Hayesport City, which is the uh, largest settlement in the Ego region. So I'm going to buy 17 energy roots and one revival herb and four heal powders. And now. I can do this quiz for a bicycle. There we go. And I can also get access to the department store. And now I can finally buy X items. This is the only place in the game you can get them. But as in pretty much any speedrun, they are invaluable, so I'm going to buy 3x attack, 11x speeds, 2x defenses, and 3 guard spec. Might seem like a lot of guard spec, but uh, it'll, it'll all make sense. Right, so uh, I'm going to heal up. And now I am going to teach Home Claws over bulk up this next fight because I don't really need to take the risk to of you know there's no real benefit to boosting my defense in the next fight and now I can my bicycle there we go more I can Silk scarf, coming handy later.
Oh, well, the max repel I set up way further back. Those last for 1,000 steps in this game, so yeah, it'll expire pretty soon. But it's it's lasted a long time, and I can just like use another one from here. Yes, this is plus one X items, not plus two. Still helpful. So this is the area where I wanted level 40 for. Because a lot of air, because a lot of Pokemon are they like max out at level 39. So you can repel all those if you if you're at level 40. Just opening some gates at the moment. This Magneton is very fast, but uh, it's out of my way at the moment. I do have to get past it there, though. Okay. Gotta wait for this guy to turn away. And... Uh, hope the Grimer doesn't get me. Good stuff. That was pretty nice. Now, this fight doesn't normally go wrong, but I will save here just in case something unexpected happens. This guy Marcus stole an artifact, and I'm here to enact vigilante justice. Um, but yeah, the strap for this fight is Cactuin has Sucker Punch, but and, um, that, and that's its strongest move against me, so it likes to go for it, which gives me the perfect chance to set up my home claws. And Sucker Punch only has five PP, so I can just run it out of Sucker Punches and then go for the sweep. Now, while I was talking, I I think that's the fourth sucker punch, but uh, I can see how it, yeah okay, it was. I can see how much home claws, how many home claws I used, just uh, just in case I made a mistake. And yeah, now it's out, so I can just flame charge, and I don't have to worry about mega kick missing. Because home claws boost my attack and my accuracy. So I need mega kick for this with Brava. Holding an Eevee light, so it's bulkier than you'd expect. And I can just, you know, flex on this cadaver by going for even more Mega Kicks because I can't miss. Now, this is the regional Magneton Grass Steel type. Goes down to a Flame Charge. Yeah, the reason he stole the stone from the museum was because it belonged to... It, it's been in his family for a long time, and it felt it was disrespectful to just... For him to, like... Because Geralt's planning on using it as a prize for an upcoming tournament. And can this Magneton get out of my way? Oh my goodness, it actually can't. Uh, some, in, some of these encounters you can run from, and some of them you can't, so I'm, gonna, I'm not sure if this... Okay, this is not one I can run from, so I'm just going to have to take it out with a few flame charges. Yeah, playing Boldy Guy there, Magneton. Unfortunately, I can't escape rip out of here. Would be nice, but I can't. I'm going to fly back here because there's a policeman blocking me out of this way. Settle. Move on to the next area on my way to getting Rock Smash. I'm going to save here because there is a Pokemon I'm going to catch here. It is 
a static encounter, although it's kind of invisible. You have to go through this crash patch a few times. Uh... Wow, okay, this is the... Uh... I don't think I've ever got an encounter there. Wow, didn't realize you could get some that high level stuff. But yeah, here it is. It is Apollo. This is a fake one, electric crash type. I'm just gonna use a quick ball on it. Yeah, the regionals appear alongside the the main the, the main cast. It, it's like that for every regional variant. We've seen we've seen regional Sphero and regular Sphero earlier as well, for example. So yeah, I'm gonna. Move my lucky egg to Zapple open, and then switch it to the front. Because I am going to be switching to this. Uh, right. Because the next the next elder uses ground types. Gorichu is very bad against ground types, being electric fire. Flip's electric grass, and it's much better suited for that. So I'm going to use my rare candies on it. And I'm going to cancel the evolution a bunch of times because it doesn't know an electric type move at the moment. And if I cancel the evolution up until level 50, it does learn wild charge. Let me write down my attack speed as well 79, and my speed is uh, pretty high 123. All right. And there's Wild Charge. It's more of a physical attack than a special attacker. Uh, when it, uh, this, this Pokemon. When it evolves, it has base 102 attack, base 131 speed. Those are the important stats. Pretty special, pretty frail on the special, special side, but uh, pretty solid for what's coming up. That's everything I need to do. So now that I've gotten that, can go on in the route this way. Yeah, this is a bit on the lower side of attack, but I'll I'll make do. Also, also has the overgrow ability, which is quite nice. It, it forms a nice kind of combination, I suppose you could call it, with Wild Charge. Like, you can lower your HP with Wild Charge and take advantage of overgrow with, uh, you know, Horn Leech. Right, there's a sash coming up here. I'm gonna heal here, and I will save as well, just because this guy can turn randomly and ruin my day. The focus sash will be helpful later on. Combination of electric grass is really nice for these fights. This is the regional blastoise, which is water flying type. Terraswack is an a, a, a regional evolution of Marowak. It's ground normal type with a lot of attack, and it just KO'd me. Okay, well, I mean that's probably fine. I have my revival herb that I bought, so... doesn't normally KO me, so... probably a pretty good roll, or I have bad defenses. So, I'm at full HP now, though, so... I can just bulk up. And hopefully it's been to overgrow. Uh, that is not overgrow, but I'll have to Horn Leech anyway. Okay, that, that was it, like, going for Sucker Punch, I think. Okay, 
why it went first when it hit, it hit itself. There's a chance he's holding an Evia Light. That was not guaranteed to KO, but I'm glad I did. And I hope I can crit this Matang with a wild charge, because this will not KO with this one. Grab a long club here for nefarious reasons that I will explain later. That's a new item in this game. Was the RNG been so far? Ah! <laughs> I did get five Crush Claw, first turn Crush Claw defense drops from Howlet in a row, so, and I did miss Mega Kick on Teal, so, it's, you know, things have happened. Also, Wubat broke out with Dusk Ball, which I don't think has ever happened to me before, so, it's not been optimal, let's just say. It hasn't been like the worst, I suppose. Right, I need to sleep for 86 hours this time. 68 was just not long enough, you know. This will help me manipulate the day so that I don't have to deal with, like, hail and stuff later on. Hail, uh, rain, I think, as well as another one that could get in, get in my way if I don't change the, de change the day and time there. And it also needs to be a different day for another Pokemon I'm going to catch. Now, this is, uh, yeah, I did have to say for Livia here taking me on this tour, I'm already not a big fan of Sun and Moon's Olivia, and now this Olivia gives me a reason to dislike her by just taking me on an extremely long tour. So that if I lose to her because you can fight her straight after this, I have to reset and listen and you know listen to a talk about rocks that she doesn't know about again a lot of the music it used is Pokemon music but there are some from other sources <laughs> that's true yeah 86 hour repel that's a you know you could be good tagline All right, I'm going to bulk up a few times on Hippowdon. Hope it just uses. Well, I, I hope it gets me into Overgrow. That was a lot of damage for Double Edge. Uh, I'm just going to bulk up again though. Earthquake might KO from there, but okay, went for Double Edge. That's fine. So now I'm in Overgrow, and I can take it out with Horn Leech. Olivia has like better T Pokemon, they're not all ground type, but they're, they're like, uh, I think 50% of them are ground. There's Garchomp, I'm gonna bulk up again on this. Okay, put me in Overgrow again. So I will Horn Leech that. No Sand Veil, thankfully. This Garchomp has rough skin, so I don't have to worry about missing my Horn Leeches. But I had to Horn Leech so that I wouldn't, didn't, you know, die. I still want to bulk up a bit more, so I can bulk up a bit on Flygon. But uh, I might die. To, I might die to another earthquake if I don't all leech there. I wanted to get to plus five, really, but this will have to do for now. Fit in one bulk up, more bulk up somewhere. Cacton will be fine. Cacton, I don't think does very much to me. Yeah, it just spikes. It's fine with me.
Now finally, we've got the regional Venusaur. This is Grass Rock type. And yeah, not too surprised Hornwich didn't get that KO. But Venusaur is not that dangerous. So yeah, glad I didn't have to reset that and go through the whole tour again. Much appreciated. But yeah, that was you that jolt loop was useful for this section, but I am gonna be switching off of it. Because there is a pretty good incentive for me to do so in the Safari zone. After you beat Olivia, this uh, this next area opens up. And you can get very high level Pokemon here. The static encounter is level 64, and I'm going to be saving here because... I'm going to be catching Marowak for my next Pokemon, believe it or not. If it, if it will, you know, <laughs> if it won't just dodge all of my mad viking moves. Oh, it's actually hued as well. It's a slightly different color than usual, so I hope this is a runnable one. So I can just use a slightly different colored Marowak. It's not a shiny, but it is a Pokemon that were, that's changed color a bit with Rainbow Mode. Unfortunately, it doesn't have Rock Head, so I have to reset. Ah, oh, too bad. At least we saw it. Yeah, no, that's the that's the normal color. I really want this to have Rockhead because I will be using the Ledge a lot with this Pokemon. And this is what I would normally use the Dust Ball for, but because I have to use another one on Woobat, I'm going to just have to Ultra Ball it and hope it gets in. If it doesn't get in, I guess at least it gives it more opportunities to show me whether it has Rockhead or not. But uh, it got in, so let's check its stats and its ability. Let's have Rockhead, okay, that's plus attack, all right, so... Uh, yeah, that should work. Is that enough speed? Let's check, see if it's enough speed. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, that is good. All right, then. Uh, oh, I need to switch off slope to this slot as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's a lucky egg. And... Yeah, then we'll just fly with Woobat. Okay. Uh, this is the wrong place. Good job, me. Fly to Ekarok Town. Gonna relearn a move here. You can do so by giving a heart scale to any Chansey in of the Pokemon Center, or Blissey, or Ordino, or whatever shows up. Uh, gonna teach it in slot three. Oh, uh, well, I didn't mean to fight this person. Supposed to go down there to avoid this guy, but whatever. I mean, it's not going to be a problem for Marowak anyway. That's what happens when you're like thinking too much about what you're going to do next. Uh, okay, do I have anything for Stinja? Yeah, I mean, I guess I have Orochu, so let's <laughs> chuck that in there. Well, <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. No, oh, it has a, it's a flipping folk with Fashion Ninja. Of course it is. Alright, alright. Alright, wise guy. Sand attack. <laughs> nice memes. I'm not using Home Claws. I'm just. I'll, I'll hit it eventually. Okay, there we go. Completely avoidable trainer, just uh, made a mistake. Oh, 
Okay, that was uh, also a completely avoidable haunter. It's a little hard to see what's going on in the dark here. What do you mean he can't, can't escape? Is that really faster than me? <laughs> Level 28 haunter. Nice. Okay, but I wanted to get payback from that grass. Because it will help with, it will help me with Pokemon I can't really hit. Uh, like Haunter, for the, uh, in fact. In a heart scale for a route change I've thought of on the way to work this morning. So... That's fun. Right. Let's heal Marowak up. Give it the long club. Because that's the the condition for... Okay, I actually forgot to get the rare candy. I'm just all over the place at the moment. There is another one. Oh my god. I am falling apart a little bit here. Okay, I'm just going to flip and reset this whole thing. Go back to go back to the Terrathwack. Because I don't know what I'm going to do on that fight. Four Pokemon. Forget that garbage. Okay. Just refresh my mind here. Catch this thing. Hope it has rock head. Doesn't have rock head. Unfortunate. Oh, this is uh, an interesting thing, thing that can happen in this version. You can kind of reset, and it uh, if you soft reset, it can do some funky things to the graphic. Uh, like it overlays some portions there. There were some enters that appeared, like like showed up in weird places in the bottom. Ultra Ball. Come on, dude. Give me the rock hand. He's getting in the Ultra Ball. Sometimes it doesn't even get in the Dusk Ball, so I'm thankful it's being nice and getting in the Ultra Ball for me. There's Rock Head, okay. Alright, so that's still fine. Got like the same speed as last time. Slightly worse attack, but because it's not a positive nature, but that's alright. Alright then, so we'll take the Luggio off you. Get Blade Meringue on. The candy I was supposed to get is just like on this in the cemetery route. I couldn't get it before because there was a guy blocking the way, but he moved after the festival in Ekarok Town is over. 
and he lets me get the rare candy in there. But yeah, I needed the rare candy because I want to evolve before the for the next fight. So yeah. We're going to sort that out now. I'm going to equip the long club. And then I'm going to use that rare candy. And here he is. We have seen this guy before. We have fought it already. It is a ground normal type with much, much better stats than Marowak. Much, much better. Okay, I'm going to heal you. I don't think I need it. Well, I'll heal Toltope anyway. Why not? And then we'll give the lucky egg Therathwack, and we'll teach it Payback because uh, there is a Pokemon that is coming up that I can't hit with my ground normal coverage. I'm gonna save here because this guy bins three three different ways and I always flip and seem to hit this guy. Yeah, if I'd have gone there, he would have just hit me. Okay, well. I stopped in the wrong place. But that's fine. You can approach this 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 uh, this route from the other direction, but there is a trainer that there is a required trainer if you go the other way. And it's also nice to go via Echo Rock Town so you can get that rare candy on the way. All right, so we've got a double battle here. This is why I switched Jolt Slope to can play so it can help me out a little bit in this double battle. So I'm going to double edge this and horn leech the X player. Just a bit of damage to X player while I take out the Wiggly Tuff. Terraswack has its base stats are really good. It's got base 135 attack, base 100 HP, base 113 defense. So really physical, really good physical defense and uh, 80 special defense. And it's not like super fast, but not super slow either. It's got 77 speed, so like faster than all the Alola starters. That is very rare, the raw from x -Blab. Very rare. Uh, I think I will just switch Terraswack back in, actually. Uh, while I try and break Sturdy here, if Magneton has it. It might do, or it might not. It's one of those 50-50s. I don't really need Jolt Loop to do anything, so I mean, I guess I'll just have it body slam, but not really any need because because Bone Sweep is a move is a move introduced in this game that hits both enemies, and there are a few double battles in the game. It's a bit weaker than Bone Rang. It's 90 power instead of well the hundred total that you get from Bone Rang. <laughs> Woo back, come on. So we're going on the way to grab the Koros Shard, which is the shard with Palkia's energy in it, to help store Thorn's machine. I am slower than Golbat. I'm not often slower than Golbat, but at this... The Terrace Mac is very slow. 1 to 2 IV speed. It does help me out a little bit because it helps. It means I can outspeed Typhlosion, and then I don't have to worry about it burning me, which it can do with Lava Bloom or Inferno. Don't need to learn Head Charge because I already take no recoil with Double Edge. It's 
The only difference between double edge and head charge is that head charge gives you slightly less recoil. And this Baldor can have sturdy, so I'm going to bone rank to get around that. I'm going to heal here. I don't often heal here, but things have not been going 100% planned, so I'm going to heal just in case. I in case something really bad happens on one of these Pokemon. For Alligator is actually not dangerous to set up against. It doesn't have a water move at this at this point. So I can just double edge it. But the thing I'm a I was a little worried about at that HP is not the Girder, because I can just KO that after setting up on... Well, I say not the Girder, it can live a double edge. I've got good attack, it can still survive it, and like if it doesn't go sponge, it can hit me with superpower. But so this Tangrowth... Okay, that's that should have outsped me, but I guess it, roll, it, can, it, can, it can roll a negative speed nature. I've kind of just been assuming that the ones with unset natures are just neutral, but like depend like it, it just ro it just rolls the nature at random. So like they can ha can be minus speed or like that tangro like that tangro's was, but it is that tangro's is electric steel type and it could have done some decent damage with flash cannon. I think it has power for that level, which after speed would have done a decent amount. And this is why I thought Payback for the Haunter. Because I can't hit it with my grand or normal moves. Whereas this Electabuzz cannot hit me at all with any move. So I'm free to just not worry about it outspeeding me and doing damage. there since I already used my revival herb. Gotta go one to the right there to avoid that grunt. The U has caught Palkia and now it's time to try and solve a Palkia puzzle. Uh, I think this is correct so far. Uh, no, I will try. There we go. Right. Now I'm going to teach bulk up because I I would I want I would like to have it over. I mean I I'm, I'm only really using payback occasionally for stuff that I can't hit otherwise, and there's like a big stretch of time where I don't need it. So I can teach bulk up here, and then escape rope out. Thorn with what's been going on. We've got one of the shards, and now he's telling me that the next shard is in a temple on an island. So before I get that, I need to be able to cross the ocean 
So I need to beat another Ego Elder to have the ability to use Surf. So yeah, that's my... That's what I'm going to be doing next. So, as you might guess, the next Elder specializes in, okay, water types. So, I'm leading with Dolphalope just to help me out a little bit, because his lead was set up Frizzle. I'm not going to be using Jolt Slope for the whole fight, it's just too underleveled and has special defense is just too low. Really be super helpful here. But I will use it to soften up Tad's lead here. It is holding a Wakan Berry as well, so I'm going to use Horn Leech instead of Wild Charge. Just need to soften up a little so that I can take it out with Terraswag. Although it did just survive, which is okay. Uh, okay, it's switching out. Might be a problem, actually. Uh, I'm just. I'm just going to reset that because. I'll only know if that's a problem right at the end. Because I'm not sure if it would... L I'm not sure when Politoed comes out again. And there is a Pokemon... There is there is a Pokemon at the, at the end of the battle that, that can have Swift... That I think has Swift Swim. And that would be really bad if, it, it turned, if, if that came back to bite me. Usually Polito doesn't switch, usually it just goes for the... Well, either it kills me with the first Ice Beam, or it just... Or it just goes... Or, or, or it just, like, you know, stays in and dies. I think it is fine, though. It's all will take me out. I'm just trying to basically stall out the rain at the moment. The Floatzel is not too bad to set up on. Like, it does have a strong... Uh, I mean, you wouldn't have think so with Waterfall doing that much. That that, crit, uh, that uh, flinch is unfortunate, but... It doesn't always go for Waterfall either. I still... I, I, yeah. That's... I think I live Waterfall from there. Yeah. Now that the rain stops, Floatzel is much less dangerous, and I can just set up bulk up, set up a few bulk ups here. Focus Blast is kind of, you know, annoying though. I need to set up one more bulk up, and then I need to set up an X speed, which will not, which won't outspeed Floatzel, but it will outspeed later Pokemon on Chad's team. Uh, I will use one more bulk up first, though. Nice miss. Okay, now I'll use the X speed. All Chad's other Pokemon are more dangerous than Floatzel. Because Floatzel's like the physical attacker and... Okay, I mean, I say that, I... I say that and it just caves me with... Focus Blast. So we'll have to do that setup again. Probably should have healed that off just uh, just, in, just in case of Focus Blast. You, I sometimes forget about it because usually it prefers going for Waterfall. Okay, though without the rain it's much less threatening at least. Okay, well, just to reset that one though. It's a long setup on Chad, unfortunately. 
some of these later ones, especially when you've got like a type weakness, you have to... A bit of a long setup. Oh, went for a Hydro Pump, huh? Alright. If you say so. I don't often see that. Poison the Horn Leech there. I kind of I want this to take me out because I do want to. Oh, actually, if I paralyze it, that might be good. Okay, well. Hmm. I don't think I can set up on Slowbro. Maybe with paralysis I can. Ah, uh, try it. I have to set up on something, and... Okay, well, I have to reset now, I think. After the full restore. These are situations... This is, this kind of, these are some weird things that Polytoad is doing. Like the... The immediate switch after hitting Joel Slope. The... Hydro Pump instead of Ice Beam. It's weird. That's doing weird things. Why you switch to slow, bro? I mean, the alternative is to just switch to Terra Smack immediately, and then I shouldn't get any switching shenanigans at least. It just mean I have to take a waterfall and then heal up, and I don't get a chance to bulk up um, immediately. But I can stall out the rain this way. Yeah. I'm gonna bulk up there. Okay. I'm glad I survived that. Otherwise I would have had to just heal until Aqua Jet instead. But Ice Punch is the second best thing it can do. Nice. Yeah, keep going for these weaker moves, will you? I will heal here because I can go for that focus blast. Okay, did miss though. I'll take that. Alright. One more X speed. Remember that floats all faster than me. And then we can and then we can take it out. But I will heal here. Because it can focus blast again. If it didn't have focus blast, this, uh, <laughs> this setup would be much better. It's still it's still like, you know, about as good as you're gonna get in this kind of fight. He's a Corso Lacola, just because Ferrismax probably sick of energy weeds by now. That restores 180 HP ish. Uh do I go there? There is one more thing that can go wrong here. This is the this fight is actually the big reason I teach Bone Rang because the next Pokemon has Focus Sash, and it also has Haze. I do not want it to get Haze off and get rid of all my boosts. But thankfully I hit. Good old 90% accuracy. So I don't have to worry about that. Alright, that was a lot more painful than I was hoping for.
the, the, believe it or not, this setup was actually worse before um, before Terrasquack got introduced into the route. Right. I'm going to max repel, equip the silk gar. Not on Joel's low, goodness me. Okay, that's fine. I'll just swap it. Uh, then I'll heal you to full. Uh, swap you to the... Yeah, swap. There we go. Okay, then. Now that I have Surf, I can move on to the next area, and I can go to towards that temple uh, this way. Surf all the way there. I'm going to enlist the help of the Torkoal Hermit over here. Any resemblance to any other fictional hermit? Completely coincidental, I'm sure. First, we get to a new area in 3.0. It's Suncrest Isle. Just uh, you, before this version, you kind of just went straight into uh, the, the next elder, and there wasn't really very much breathing room between them. So this helps like pad things out a little, and you get another rival battle as a result. So this is when you get to see like the the power of card specs in in this particular version. Normally, this Koki Flash is absolutely faster than me, but uh, with with this speed. But I guess it rolled a minor speed nature and it crit me. That's not nice. So yeah, we'll probably see it. We'll probably see it outspeed me this time. Power does not KO without a crit. Comes close, but it doesn't KO. It does drop its own stat, so that's that's helpful. And now I can use the guard spec. And what this and this this does act, work as a guard spec, but it also pulls up an error menu and lets me use another and, and basically skips the turn. So I can use a guard spec like and then it skips the opponent's turn and then I can just use next speed. So I can use two items for the price of one pretty much. This is just like a bug in the version of Pokemon Essentials that was used to make this game. I've seen it in other fan games too. But, it, but the reason I want to use a guard spec is because there is a star after coming up and I can block Intimidate with that. Yeah, double edge off base 135 attack, stab, silk scarf, very strong. Now, if this thing doesn't have Intimidate, it has Sturdy, so either way I need to use Bone Rang just either for extra power or or to break through Sturdy. Yeah, there are some rough fights in this section of the game. This next, uh, there's that, this next one coming up, it doesn't really let up, there's a 
double battle that I have to do here, and it can go off the rails a little. It should be a little easier for me because my Dolph Focus is fast. So I can outspeed a Crobat that I'm going to be fighting. I do get a free heal from Skill, which is nice. She, she knows how tough this battle's going to be. But I can use the power of guard specs here as well. I can use a guard spec and then also an X attack, and basically it goes in speed order, so Joltope is faster, so I can use the X attack. And the guard spec skips everyone's turn, and then I can just go straight to the next turn. I basically got an X attack on Joltope for free, and I can take out the Crobat as a result. Which is an excellent start, that Crobat. Often, just you know, sub, uh, if I if I can't, if I can't do that, if I have to, if I'm if I'm slower than the crowbat, or if I do, or if I don't have enough attack to KO it with wild charge after an X attack, it can just like U-turn or cross poison jolt open. It all goes pear shaped from there, pretty much. But this time, I can just you know, I can just fire off attacks. This is really good for this double battle. Except I'll even missed Focus Blast, very nice. So this Blissey only knows Sucker Punch, uh, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bulk up with Okay, it didn't actually go for it on Joltalope. But I was just gonna bulk up there just so it's Bunch would fail against against me. I'm going to do that again here, just so I don't have to heal. Okay, it really just wants to attack Aerithwax though for some reason. Yeah, this Blissey is mad. It's got base 255 attack as well, so it's pretty scary. But it only knows the one move, Sucker Punch. If it had like you know. Dab fighting moves. It might. <laughs> well, actually, it probably wouldn't be too bad because you would just. I would just outspeed and KO it. But uh, with with um with Terrace Whack. Some kind of mysterious, mysterious legend, which we may learn a little more about later on. Yeah. Well, I wanted to talk from the top just so that he would wouldn't have to go all the way around, but uh, it's not too important. Am I at? I might have to heal a little. Yeah, it's a little low. Hello? There we go. You have to get off your bike to slide across the ice in this game. So I'm not faster than a bunch of Pokemon on this trainer's team, so I'm going to XP. And I'm going to Bone Meringue just in case this thing has Sturdy. It can have Rockhead or Sturdy. I was hoping it would 
use a recoil move, and then I would could just use Bone Sweep. Yeah, so heal your scout speeds me. But uh, the, the, the main thing I didn't want to be outsped by was this Perugly here because it has Swagger and I don't want to deal with that. So, we're at the top of Diamond Peak now. I'm going to get a very handy item for the next fight. Uh, why did it do that? Okay. The weakness policy. Now, if you don't know what this item does, when you are hit by a super effective move, your attack and special attack are sharply boosted, and then the items are used up. It's one of those things that, you know, if it was available for Chad, I would use it for Chad, but uh, it's also helpful here for the next fight I have to do, because uh, as you might surmise, at the top of an ice mountain, I will be fighting an ice leader. So I'm going to equip the weakness policy right now. Oops, okay. The game doesn't really make a big deal out of this, but you do get a free heal before fighting Irene. So I will, I will, I'll, that little bit of HP I was missing, I will, I will have it back here. Yeah, this fight would have some kind of similar CAD-esque setup that, uh, you know, uh, uh, that would ruin my life if <laughs> if I didn't have the weakness policy. So instead I can just use an X speed on the Obama Snow as it hits me with either Blizzard or Woodhammer. And then uh yeah sure it can freeze me solid, yeah that's definitely part of the plan. Uh, I have the full restore though, so I can just use that. Okay, and it can then just crit me with Giga Drain, sure. Uh, I think I kind of want to heal again, actually. I think Hail would probably KO me after a few turns if I didn't heal now. Okay, that's a little better. So let's just go for it here. Hail will wear off eventually. I maybe could have healed on... well, actually, I'm not sure how much Cryognold does. It doesn't have Blizzard, I think it just has Ice Beam, if I remember rightly. Uh, this is a Grass Psychic type, this Grass Quatch. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to heal on... oh, this is interesting. Normally it's not Mammoth Wine yet. Probably just wants to go straight for that ice shard. Yep, and I'm definitely dead to another one. This is kind of I kind of wanted the floor restore for this so that I could heal the full if I was at low HP and then out of range of two ice shards. But hail stop now. So I'm um, alright. Barely. <laughs> Well, that's a pretty huge difference in roll there between the ice shard. Last Pokemon hold the focus sash, so because I don't really want to die in the last Pokemon, I will energy root. It thankfully doesn't know any offensive ice moves. It's no squatch. It is ice rock type. Holding a focus dash so I can take it out with Bone Meringue.
Right, I'm gonna equip the silk scarf again before I forget. Got another puzzle to do here, the Dialga puzzle. Uh, where am I? Yeah. Uh, where are you? I think you're, yeah, there you are. That's not right, is it? Because that is... Where are you? Oh, I'll see, I'll figure it out. I go just here, aren't you? Okay. Another double battle. They really don't. You know, they, they really have a lot of double battles uh, <laughs> later on in the game. So it's good. It's it's kind of you know it does encourage me in the in the route to do some main switches here and there to help me out a bit. But yeah, I'm gonna body slam Magnus on just in case it rolls sturdy. I don't have to worry about it with plain sweep. I think both of these one out, probably. Clang can survive, but I think I have to have a pretty low attack for it to be able to, su to survive this. Only shouldn't quite get the KO there. This still also doesn't have great attack. So I'm not massively surprised. It is a little irritating. Alright, just don't do that again. Didn't use attack, so I can take it out now. Is pretty likely to take uh, to take out Total Loop here. Well, actually, okay, I am a faster than it. Is that that, that, is that who? You are? Yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, it's, uh, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, but he then got some slow run, all right. I couldn't quite remember if Satu was faster than me or not. Okay, well, I just died to slow run anyway. That's not too bad. It doesn't really matter. If Joel Slope dies now, because Slope is the last one, and if 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 Joel Slope survived, I would have had to switch it for the next fight anyway, because of strange guard spec mechanic shenanigans. So I'm gonna save here. Did I take any? I didn't take any damage, right? I don't think so. I took a little damage. All right, I will heal that up then. Uh, I'm pretty low on healing items. I've been a bit, un a bit unlucky with how many I've had to use. But this, that's, that, this is fine because I don't. I can just buy a bunch of full restores like before the final gauntlet. But I do have to fight you now, and he has Alga and Falkia. And it's a double battle. So it's kind of scary. But this is what we have the artifact shenanigan for. I can use the next attack, and then on Gyarados' turn, I can guard spec. And then I can bone sweep, uh, not bone sweep, double edge rather. Bone sweep comes later. And I mean, I kind of just want Gyarados to die so I can just splash. Okay, that is unusual because Palkia. Rolled a plus speed nature and outsped me.
Well, sorry, rather Dialga. Wait. No, actually, uh, no, actually that's not. That, yeah, what usually happens is that they just take out the. They just both go for the lower level Pokemon. That's what it is. But they didn't this time. Oh, I didn't heal either. Okay. We'll go for this anyway and see if it works. Go for the X attack and the guards back. All right, and then we'll go for the double edge. And I mean, I'll, I'll I can just heal with Gar on on Gyarados's turn. So that's not a problem. I'm just gonna. Okay, yeah. This time. This time I did go for the Gyarados. That kind of thing is usually going. Alright, then I can double edge the Cerigal, which is a Bug Dragon pseudo legendary. Very cool. I'm leaving Dialga alive because Use Last Pokemon is weak to ground. So I can just go for the Bone Sleep on that. I only have one energy left, but that should still be okay. That Dragon had Sturdy, hopefully Dialga dies. Did not die. Uh, okay, this could be a problem. I have to kind of just hope that I live this. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any real way around that. Okay, you went for the Flora Sword, that's fine. Because that means I can just take the Drag Oil out. And I get another chance to get the roll on the Dialga. Thank you. <laughs> I've got a thank you there for using a full restore in a stupid way. Okay, so if it didn't use it, I might have just been dead there. Right, so I'm gonna, yeah, just gonna escape here without. This is where I would normally use a healing item if I had one left, but uh, I don't, so we'll just have to go without it. That's fine. I mean, I'm just going back to Thorn's Lab and I can take the bed heal anyway. Yeah, now that I now I've given brought back the the charge from Dialga, the charge from Palkia, and it turns out I do need the charge from Giratina after all. But Giratina's temple was destroyed many years ago. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be sent back in time before the temple was destroyed. And that way I can theoretically get the get the shard for with Giratina's energy. to do. Uh, I think you're there. Okay, you're in the wrong place. That's fine.
you're in the wrong place too, okay. Oops, I put those in the wrong, wrong order. Right, use my last max repel here. So you can't really avoid this encounter. Whichever way you go, you get you get one of these statue encounters here. Okay, it has intimidate, which means that I can just bone sleep because it doesn't have sturdy, and I can still take Argon out. It's a rock dragon type, just like the warden we saw earlier on Peel. So I could go for Boomerang here just to try and work around Sturdy, but if I miss Boomerang, Magnazone has Magnet Rise, and if it uses that, it is really bad because I cannot hit it with anything besides Double Edge. But I mean, it doesn't really matter if it goes for it now. So, so I can just take the opportunity to set up my bulk up. It's good because I have no healing items at the moment, so good that I didn't take any damage and I can just go for the KO on Grottle, because Grottle survives if I don't bulk up. Okay, that's sturdy. And there's the Bone Rang miss. That's happened at some point, I suppose. But yeah, if it had Intimidate, I would just have gone for the Bone Sweep. Take it out. That's the evolution of the Gargon we just saw. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, but the Grottle is, you know, you'd be, you'd be surprised on how bul by how bulky that thing is with the Eviolite. Just do a decent amount of damage with Leaf Storm if you get let it get an attack off. Okay, so I'm pretty slow, so I am going to X speed here. So that I outspeed Blaziken, because like, the Crobat is always going to outspeed me. But I don't really want the Blaziken to get like a get attack off, ideally. And this Graveler, you know, you've seen this story before, it can have Sturdy. means I can outspeed Galvantula as well. Galvantula's holding a Focus Sash, so I'm going to Bone Rang it. Yeah, there's a lot There's a lot of Pokemon that Bone Rang is useful for. Can't really get Giratina's power in time because you is right here and he's gonna like he's gonna cause problems and I got to get out of there before I get blown to bits. So I got to come up with a backup plan. And earlier on there was that there was that shard from. There was, that, there was that stone from the oasis that we got back from the bandit Marcus in the city, and it is actually, and it is the prize for the Trident Tower tournament. So, time to enter the Trident Tower tournament, basically. Uh, I meant to, I meant to rest in the bed there, but that's okay. I can just heal the fall. And there is a center in here that I can heal the fall with. That's no problem. So yeah, I'm just gonna heal here. 
slightly slower than healing in the bed, but it's it's pretty it's pretty fast. She puts she puts the vocal balls on the desk without too much delay. And now I can buy more healing items, so I don't have to be so scared. <laughs> I did. <laughs> There's no jingle, so I'm like a little paranoid, but uh, yeah, it's all good. I'm going to be a little overestimate, it looks like. I will. I might, you know, break the no speed up uh, restriction for like a little bit of the game towards the end, because there is quite a lot of cutscene stuff going on there, and that should help things a little more to a, li a little more towards the 230 estimate, so that we don't overrun too much. I will be literally cheating. But yeah, here's, uh, here's Marcus, the... we fought him before in Aceport Sewers. I mean, he leads with his magna, with his uh, well, it's magna zone now. It's evolved. Use my X speed. Okay, it's going to be faster than me at uh, plus two, even at, even with my X speed. I'm going to bone rang. Hopefully, I hit this thing need the extra power for this. It doesn't have sturdy, but I need the extra need the extra damage. Now this has a sugar berry, but it does not matter because uh, this is a fire rock type evolution to the regional muck. And it is mega weak to ground. Depending on what order things get set out in, well, I think I missed some experience earlier on as well for like because of like um, I think it might have been like on pad because I K because I K the floats all with all float, so I kind of get to level seventy eight there if things go differently, and then like sometimes I can bone sweep the the drag oil instead of. Instead of having to risk the meringue, that's the, that's the evolution of... We've seen like all three of those now. We saw Gargon, Gargon Warden and Drag Oil. Right, so let's just go and we'll restore that up. So this guy, Bonnie, has all shiny Pokémon. He is an in-game shiny hunter, but he's got pretty tough Pokémon as well. Okay, no Hydro Pump miss, but um, I survive it at least. I need to X speed there because. The next thing that comes out is the regional Fero, which is fighting type and does a lot of damage. So I need to be able to take that, be faster than that, and take that out. Right, so I'm going to full restore here, just in case I miss Metagross. I've got really good attack, so I'm very, very likely to KO this with Bone Morang. But you know, I have to hit Bone Morang as well. Some of these Pokemon I can take out with Double Edge, but I am saving Double Edge PP. Because I don't really get a heal in between any of these, and I want to make sure I have enough Double Edges for everything. The Steelix, uh, 
I can't even take out with Bone Run because it has the Citrus Berry and it's very defensive. So I'm just going to use two, bo two Bone Sleeps, but it can't do very much to me, so that's fine. And then the final Pokemon is a Bug type Evolution in this game, Lepidion. There are Evolutions for every single type in this in this game. So if you love Evolution, you know. And you love, I don't know, fighting types, there is a fighting type evolution in this game. Right, we're gonna heal up. And I am gonna teach payback. I don't need Bone Rang anymore, and I do need payback for one Pokemon. <laughs> Not on this fight, but on the next one. This guy, I haven't really... I've never talked to this guy, but he is Howlett's, Howlett's son, and he was the guy, you know, blocking the tree with a rare candy in it when I was in the... when I went through the cemetery for the first time. He's also a bit of a pushover. All I have to do is bulk up and X speed, and that's all the setup I need to do. But yeah, like it can't even it can't even status me with things like Ice Punch because it has sheer force. But yeah, now it's just uh, hit A. I'm actually gonna I'm actually I'm gonna speed this part up because it really is just match A. And you know, it'll help us get back on it. Help, uh, help, help me get a little closer to the estimate. So you know, literal cheating incoming. Oh, it's already happening. Avert your eyes if you don't want to see literal cheating. But it really is just click double edge for the whole fight. Okay, let's get back to normal. This does have the side effect of X being instant from now on. That's just why I haven't only used to speed up and turn it off again. But the rest of the game is normal. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I had to do it. Alright, so I'm gonna... bulk up here. Okay, the accuracy drop kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Speed. Well, kind of have to hope I don't miss my move. Uh, I can heal on Volcarona though. That's not going to like pay me from full. So that will help if I, you know, take big damage from other other moves. Bone sweep will KO this though, and I don't have to I don't have to risk I don't have to risk flame body because bone sweep is a non-contact move. Uh, yeah, I'll just use bone sweep though, just so I don't use lots of double edges and have to, you know, run out of PP on missing double edges because I can just go down to a double edge. Yeah, the first thing we saw Grimfowl is an evolution of the. Regional knockdown. Also has no guard, which you know, which Hurricane was never going to miss there. So that's not really a con a win condition if you, if if its moves take too much da deal too much damage. But yeah, here's the Pokemon I needed payback for. Uh, it doesn't okay. It doesn't matter if I miss on this because it literally cannot hit me. It has Will O Wisp. That's the only way it can deal damage. Having said that, oh, yeah, I'll be fine. I can still pay back. Not quite clear though. 
We actually have to heal here. <laughs> There's another Ventic will KO. Okay, all the misses are coming out now, huh? But that's that's the end of the tournament. There is a little more to the game, though. But this is this is this is about where my um, where my walking to work route change idea comes in. Because what I would do previously here is catch a. I just catch a coughing that I would get in uh, that's, that's like a an overworld encounter and it would have destiny bond and that would help me cheese the final fight but uh, I'm gonna do some different cheese instead which should be okay as long as you know as long as shed skin doesn't work in a way that I don't expect it to so I can just each Terrace Whack Perish Song, which is the move that, the, 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 which is like a special move that that particular Overworld Marowak had, and that will help me with some cheese in the final fight. Gotta remember to equip the Focus Sash. Remember that item I picked up like a million years ago? It's coming back into play here. Alright, I will speed through this a bit because it is like a lot of cutscene stuff and if you if you uh, and if you don't really want to know the like spoilerific plot details of the end, then this is this is this is and then you know this is good because you can just like not read the text. Actually, I'll turn it off here though because there is like a little bit of gameplay at this point. But there are a lot of cutscenes as well. This is me inside the computer. Try and upgrade this Porygon. Oh, okay. It really just got in my way, huh? That's fine. I'll just go around. It works a little differently with like instant with the with the text being instant because. You know, normal because the Porygon kind of materializes during the text boxes and all that. And then Porygon evolves and joins me, but it is completely useless. So, you know, it's just kind of hanging out, I guess. So, yeah, now with all that, Paul's ready to send me home, but there's one unexpected thing happening. Now this can always go wrong, this next part, so I'm going to save here. And now we'll fast forward through these, this cutscene. Basically, it boils down to I can either choose to fight you or choose to fight Thorn, and I'm going to choose to fight Thorn because, not uh, because because that's the that's because with with Thorn I can use cheese. With you, he has like a it's like a six Pokemon double battle. I can't use cheese on that, so I'm going to battle Thorn, and he has one super strong Pokemon, Archaos. This has got insane stats, like really high speed, really high stats all around. And uh, yeah, I, I have like basically no hope against it unless 
I can perish song. I have to focus Ash. But that's the reason I say, because it can flinch me. <laughs> and if it flinches me, my focus Ash is used up and I... And it doesn't really work because I have to... Because if even if I revived, I would just die again. I would just die to any of its moves. It has it's it, there's, there's a type in this game called Cosmic Type, which is super effective against Normal. So, you know, Terrathwack can't survive a hit, a hit from Archaos. But that's a bit unlucky. Both of uh, it has two. Archaeos has two cosmic type attacks, one of them physical, one of them special. And I think one, one of them is 30% to flinch, one of them is 20% to flinch. So I just got a bit unlucky there. So hopefully I can just... Okay, I didn't even need the Focus Ash for that as well, so... But I got the Paris Song off, so that's fine. I have plenty of Pokémon to stall out the Paris Song with. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I just use moves. I think it just kills all my Pokemon, though. So... Uh, you get to see uh, Woobat, I guess, I don't know. And then, there it goes. That's the Parasong, Keo. We're nearly at the end now, there's just a little cutscene left to go. I'm Ash Ketchum, I was in a coma the whole time! Alright, now it's time. So yeah, sorry for running over there, a lot of that was uh, my fault, to be honest. I kind of uh, lost my mind a little bit after Marowak, but I hope you enjoyed the run nonetheless. There's a lot about this game I didn't show off in the run. Lots of, you know, other Pokemon that, that, uh, that, that you know, that, that, that discover. Lots of side things you can do. But that'll be it for me for now. And yeah, keep watching the marathon. We've got a little fan game block coming up. I believe. I know uh, the Aquamarine run is soon, I think it's next, but uh, I could be completely wrong. Yeah, it's not next. Okay, so we got Pokemon Red and Pokemon Emerald coming up. Archipelago Multiworld. Honestly, I have no idea what that is, So, uh, but uh, it sounds interesting. And then after that is Aquamarine and Infinite Fusion for the little fan game section. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Keep tuning in. And yeah, bye-bye from me.